Hello, welcome to the Abbey Harvest Homestead. I'm going to give you some super exciting news. Today is a nest box day for Jolti. She's been pregnant for 20, I don't remember when, was it 25 days you've been nest boxing? It's been so long since I've had rabbits, like, in a cage that need, like, a nest box date. Usually it's, like, in there all the time because, you know, they're in a colony or a tractor and you don't know when they're pregnant. So you just give a nest box, like, all the time. So this is so weird for me. I guess it might be 25 days. No. 22 I don't know 20 something days she's pregnant and I marked it on the calendar so I'm not like messed up that bad but I just can't remember off the top of my head I'm so excited we could have babies this is the first time we've had a rabbit who I know about when she was bred for sure for like a long time all right let me grab a nest box right now they all have probably they all have dust in them because we've been using them for dust baths and I probably have to put dust baths in there again for them, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So we might have to de-dust a nest box. See, I told you. Didn't I tell you? Look at that. It's really old dust bath material. Ugh. Let me grab a little spade. All right, I've de-dusted pretty well. Well, maybe not so well. I don't know. It's kind of all, like, stuck in there. Rab's been peeing on it, and it's all, ugh. Maybe a little bit more. All right, I think we're pretty good. De-dusted the nest box. Now, this is always a chore, especially for Angora rabbits, because their fiber is just so long and everything gets tangled in it. Should I use hay for the bedding or wood shavings? We don't have paper shavings, but they're like inside. It'd be a lot of work to get them and not much benefit versus any of the other two options. So, oh, this is so hard. I guess shavings won't be eaten. You know, hay's edible. Well, shavings aren't edible, even though sometimes rabbits do eat them. So, I guess we'll go with paper shreds. I can always add more whatever of whatever I want when their babies are born. But, we'll do paper shreds. Most of it, a lot of it, hopefully, will be her fur. Because she's an angora rabbit, she'll have a whole bunch of fur. Even if she doesn't pull fur, because she's an angora, I'll have a whole bunch of her fur pulled already. Her fiber spinning that I can just use. Or use some other rabbit's fur. I might just use hers. All right, look at that, that's pretty good. <laughs> so exciting, I haven't done this for so long. Come on, there we go. Hey, oh my gosh, so, come on, almost there, thank you. Do you guys ever talk to your cage doors? Is it just me? I talk to everything. This seems kind of a strange thing to do. All right, nest box is in. Hopefully it doesn't get used as a litter box completely and it's actually used somewhat for what it's meant to be. All right. So I first put Sylvan and Jolti, our buck and doe, Angora rabbits together 32 days ago and I gave Jolti a nest box a few days before this and She kind of like made a little nest area in the nest box But she didn't pull any fur and she didn't like give birth obviously And then this morning I was noticing she was using the box a lot like going in and out and stuff But she didn't like have any nesting material to nest with so I gave her some hay and look what she's doing with it. That's a big mouthful, honey. Do you see her in the nest box? This might be a better peek. Yep, we have a nesting rabbit on our hands. This doesn't mean that she will give birth today. But it would be really cool if you did because we have some friends coming over to look at the baby goats. And it would be so fun if they were able to look at baby rabbits too. Oh yeah, it's hot baby. It's been getting really warm really fast lately. We had a whole bunch of rain and it stayed cool and then like the rain stopped. And then the temperature just shot up. But I've been waiting for Jolti to give birth so she can, you know, pull fur from her before I shave them. Because if I shave her all down, she won't have any fur to pull and that will like mess I mean, it'll be warm outside and stuff, but, like, that'll just mess with, like, 
the baby's being born and her instincts and just so I wanted to be safe and sorry and wait for her to give birth but I was fr worrying because she wasn't having babies wasn't having babies and it, like obviously she still had time but it was just so hot and I'd come out in the middle of the day and it'd be so hot and I just felt so bad because I couldn't shave them and if I'm gonna like shave both of them it's kind of hard to like get all the stuff out and then do it for one and then I have to like redo get all the stuff out and get all dirty and have to shower afterwards just like a second time so i figured doing it both at once would be much easier now i'll hopefully soon be able to shape them because we're gonna have babies soon what do you think sylvan i believe he's been with those who have given birth before and he was a good dad he didn't stress out the dough he didn't hurt the litter or anything so i'm not super worried about him jolty is a first timer though so we'll see i have to see how that goes sometimes they can be not so good as you've seen on my channel before are you excited to be a daddy again Sylvan is actually Jolti's dad, so we bred father to daughter. Yeah, you've had experience with babies before. You have. That's your baby. And she's going to give you more babies. I'm so excited. Hopefully you do a good job. Your mom was an amazing mom. One of the reasons I kept Jolti as a breeder is because her mom, Sequoia, before she died, she was amazing. She had huge litter. She had a huge amount of milk. She was a, like took care of them amazingly. So I really hope those genetics were passed on to her daughter. I guess we'll have to wait and see, though. It's evening now of the same day, and I just noticed that there is fur in Jolty's nest, like she pulled fur. So nesting and pulling fur when she's due to give birth is a pretty good sign that we could be expecting babies if there aren't any in here already. I'm feeling around. <gasps> I feel a baby! There's actual babies in here! Oh no... This one's all... Oh my gosh! It's huge and elongated and dead. I feel something else in here. Oh no... So sad. This one too. It's huge and elongated and dead. Anything else? No, I don't feel anything. Well, for a first time, are these like, oh my gosh, these do not look like normal newborns. At least Jolty seems to be doing okay. Are you okay, girly? Oh, poor mommy. Poor girl. Alright, so I guess this ends the anticipation. Very sad end, but... So, I'll take care of this off camera. Well, I'm glad she's doing okay. She got the first litter out of the way, so that her next litter, hopefully, will be much better. From what I can tell, I would guess that the babies, she had trouble birthing them, or they were stillborn, or something, because they do not look normal. They don't look like they died after they were born. Looks like they, I don't know, poor, oh, poor babies.